Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty A YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing my first alternative using the April 2020 paper pumpkin kit. I hope you're going to stick around and see what I make. I want to say a great big welcome back to my subscribers and regular viewers and if this is your first time to my channel I hope that by the end of this video you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. I did already make one of each of the cards that the kit gives instructions for this month. So the one on the left here is a top opening but it's kind of like a matchbook and I'm not positive that this is how it should go together but I thought that this worked the best way. And then on the right was a Z fold card that opened like that. I have to say, I think the directions this month were kind of hard for these cards, but I do really love the stamp set. So I'm looking forward to making some alternatives and seeing what I can do with them. Most of the items that I'll be using today are from the kit over here on the left from the stamp set. I'm going to be using the sentiment that says, I'm glad you are my family. And then there was a little branch stamp here that I'll be using. The Pear Pizzazz stamp and spot came with the kit as well. And that I think is the only ink that I'll use. Also from the kit, I got out one of each of the card bases and I got out this piece with the text, one of the green branches, a sentiment tag, this little yellow banner strip. And then I grabbed out the pearls that came with it. Beside my adhesive, I think the only piece I'm going to use that's not from the kit is my Hero Arts Infinity dies. Once I start the process, I will go to a voiceover, so make sure if I leave you with any questions, I'll leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! The first thing I'm going to do today is cut the text from the center of this piece. Now, you don't have to do this, but I thought I might want to use those words later. Unfortunately, the dies I have, I don't have one that fits it perfectly. It's a little too skinny. So I got out my Scotch Blue removable tape, and I'm going to place the die so there is an even border on the top, bottom, and left, and then I'm going to stick that tape on there to hold the die in place. Now, when I run it through my cuddle bug, I am not going to run it all the way through because it would cut off some of the text at the bottom. So I place it on my cutting plate and then you'll notice I just roll it about half of the way in. Once I have that first cut made, I'm going to unstick my die from the pattern paper, which the Scotch blue removable tape makes this super easy to do. And then I'm gonna move it to the right. When I place the die down for the second time, I will have the even border. Now it's on the top left and right. And then once again, I tape that down with the Scotch blue removable tape. And again, I only roll it halfway in because if I rolled it all the way through, it's gonna cut off some of the text as well. And here you'll see I have a frame with that pattern paper and then I'm going to save that text part for another alternative card. And now it's time to get a couple more patterns for my card front. What I'm going to do is cut off the pattern portion of both of the card bases that you receive in the kit. I just cut this so that color bleeds right off there. And I'll save those extra pieces for another card. I'm going to start by putting adhesive on the back of the lighter pattern paper and I'm just going to put it on three edges and then this gets adhered down to the left side of the frame and I just try to make it so there's an even border on there. I carefully peel that up and then on the darker green piece of pattern paper, I'm going to put adhesive on all four of the edges. This then gets placed to the right of the lighter green paper and that fourth strip of adhesive that I didn't put on the light green will be sticking to the light colored pattern paper. And here you'll see I have a matted focal point. Next, I'm going to take my strip of yellow pattern paper and cut that roughly in half. 
This is then gonna get adhered where the two green patterned papers meet, just aligned with the top and bottom of the overall matted piece. Later, I will cover up the opening between the two. This is an easy way to extend banners like this. And now it is time to do the stamping. I will be inking up my sentiment with the pear pizzazz ink that came with the kit, and then that just gets stamped right in the center of the little die cut that I chose. I wanted to fill in some of the white space on the sentiment tag, but I didn't want to make it too overpowering. So I got out that small branch stamp, inked it up with the pear pizzazz ink, stamped it off onto that white scrap of paper, and then I stamped it onto the die cut. I do this twice, once on the left and right, and I just like the little extra dimension and texture it gives this piece. I got a card base out of my stash, and off camera I was kind of playing with the layout of the card, and I thought that that was too white in the background. So I pulled out the leaf stamp from the kit, and I'm going to do the same thing with this as I did with the little branch. I'm going to stamp it off on my scrap of paper before I stamp it around the border of my card base. Now while you're watching me do that, I just want to let you know that the secret word for today's video is alternative. I am going to be back next week to let you know what you need to do with those secret words. I will be doing a 10k subscriber giveaway on my channel and you will need to collect these. Now, one thing that you do need to know, even though we don't know all of the rules yet, is you cannot share the secret word in the comments below. If you do, your comment will be deleted and you'll be disqualified from the giveaway when it comes time. Just a preview of it, I will be giving away four $25 gift certificates. Now that my card base is stamped, let's get this card put together. My pattern paper focal point just gets adhered just flat down onto that card front. And then I'm going to get out my glue dots that came with the paper pumpkin kit. And I put one on the back of almost every one of the leaves on the branch. This then gets adhered to the front, and you'll notice here I put it kind of to the right, so just a couple of the leaves fall off the side of the pattern paper piece. For the sentiment, I got out the mini Stampin' Dimensionals that came with the kit, and I placed five on the back of my sentiment tag. You'll notice there that both sides actually have the sentiment stamped on it, and that's because the first time I tried to stamp it, I pushed a little too hard on one side and it smudged the ink. The great thing about these white die cuts is, if you goof up, you just turn them over and try again. This will get placed over that opening in the yellow strip of pattern paper, and you'll never know that that was cut apart. Now before I can call this card done, I am going to add a little bling to it. I love these little pearls that came with the kit this month. There are two different colors, a light green and a yellow. So since I have a lot of green on my card front, I decided to put the yellow pearls on there. Because odd numbers are pleasing to the eye, I placed three of the yellow pearls in there in kind of a triangle shape. And here is a look at the final card. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made my first alternative this month. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.